Okay, question number six is a number theory based question and in my opinion this is slightly uh, difficult. Ideally you should have left it in the exam but if you have done it that's fine. Let's go ahead and see what is the right way of approach. So here we have 20, uh, 20 to the power of 51 to the power of 113 you are dividing it by 17. So what you should do the first step is convert this 20 as 17 plus 3 to the power of 51 to the power of 113. Now why am I writing like this because x plus y to the power of n binomial expansion will be in the form of every term will be in the form of x power something and y power something x power something and y power something only the last term will have y power something and no x and the first term will have x power n and there's no y and the last term will have y power n and no x so all of this will have x in it only the last term will not have x. Similarly, if this is x and this is y, this entire expansion will have 17, 17 everywhere. Only the last term does not have 17. So when you're dividing this binomial expansion by 17, every term, if you're dividing every term by x, every term will get perfectly divided except the last term. So you are just going to look at 3 power 51 to the power of 113 now divide by 17. This is what you need to find. So you are reducing 20 to 3. You are reducing the number 20 into 3. That is the first step. Right? Now how do you find this? Now we will, we will use something called as Euler's rule and Euler's rule says that when you have a to the power of y minus 1, this when you are dividing by y. So a to the power of y minus 1 when you are dividing by y, the remainder will always be 1 if y is a prime number. So this y if you take it as 17 then 3 power 16 when you are dividing by 17 the remainder should be 1. This is what Euler's rule says but we don't have a 3 power 16. So we will try to convert the power of 3 in terms of 16. So I want to find out 51 to the power of 113 this is the power can I write it in the form of 16 K plus something? Can I write it in this form? If yes, what form will that be? Okay, that is what I want to find. So then therefore, we are supposed to look at 51 to the power of 113 when you divide by 16 because you want to write it in the form of 16 multiples. So when you are dividing it by 16, what will be the reminder? That is what you want to find. How many 16s are there in this? So once again, we will use the same format. 51 can be written as 48 plus 3 to the power of 113 divided by 16. Once again, this is x and this is your y. Now, x's are basically 48. 48 is 16 multiple. 16 threes are 48. So, you will only be worried about the last term, which is your 3. So, 3 power 113 by 16. So, 3 power 113 divided by 16, that is what you want to find out. And this basically will be how much? This is 3 power. 4 into 28 plus 1 divided by 16 because 4 into 28 is uh, 112 plus 1 is 113. Okay, so now this becomes 3 power 4 whole to the power of 28 into 3 by 16. Okay, now what is uh, what is 3 power 4? 3 power 4 is 81. Okay, so this is 81 to the power of 28 into 3 divided by 16. Again, I said this is lengthy. The reason why I said this is lengthy is once again this 81. 81 you are supposed to write it as 80 plus 1 whole power 28 into 3. You are going to divide it by 16. Now, please find out or rather understand what will be the remainder over here. 80, uh, in fact, you can write this 3 power Right. In fact, uh, we can actually, you don't have to do it this way. Actually, I will have to use. So there are too many concepts you're using in, in this. That's the reason that, why I said this is a bit difficult. So this 81, in fact, uh, we will not even convert this into 81. We will use it here itself. So you basically have 3 power 4 by 2 power 4. And this is raised to the power of 28 and into 3 because 16 I'm going to write it as 2 power 4. Okay. 
So in fact, you can do this, right? 16 FISA, 16 FISA, what is 16 FISA? 16 FISA, 80. So this is 81, 81 to the power of 28 divided by 16 into 3. So this part, 81 when divided by 16 will give you a remainder of 1. So that 1 to the power of 28 will be 1 itself. So this entire remainder will be 1 into 3, which is 3. So basically what you're getting is 51 to the power of 113. When you divide by 16, you'll get the remainder of 3. Therefore, 51 to the power of 113 will be in the form of 16K plus 3. 16K plus 3. So this entire thing we did to understand how to write this part. Once I understood this part, then I will go back and uh, take a look at my this problem. So this can be rewritten as 3 power 16k plus 3. So this is nothing but 3 power 16 whole power k plus 3. This I am dividing it by 17. Now look at the first part of it. Uh, sorry, not plus 3. This is into uh, into 3 power 3. My bad because uh, power in the numerator will become 3 power 3, right? That's my mistake, right? So now we are looking at 3 power 16 divided by 17. Now we already saw 3 power 16 when you divide by 17, the remainder is 1. This is Euler's rule. So this entire thing, remainder is 1 into 3 power 3 is 27. We are going to divide this by 17. So the final answer is whatever you get when you divide 27 by 17. So when you divide 27 by 17, the final remainder is 10. This is one of the difficult questions because there are three or four concepts that you're using and Euler's rule is not a common concept. You don't come across it quite often. That is one of the reasons why I, I probably will say that this is the most difficult question in this entire paper, right?